He had already warned. Years ago, when people still thought it was just marketing hype, Elon Musk uttered a phrase that now seems prophetic. Whoever commercializes solid-state batteries first will control the future of electric cars. And in 2026, that future has a name, a factory, and a timeline. While Tesla tightens the final screws on its production line, BYD, its biggest Chinese rival, is still working on lab adjustments. The gap between testing and delivering to the consumer is brutal, and Elon wants to bridge that gap while the world still digests what's about to happen. Of course, the battle isn't just about technology, it's about territory. Whoever dominates this shift in batteries won't just lead sales, they'll dictate prices, shape production standards, and, most importantly, consolidate a global base of influence. Interestingly, those who start first don't always end up winning. BYD may have an advantage in the Chinese market, but if Tesla gets a Model 2 with a solid-state battery onto the streets first, the entire balance of power changes. It's like in chess. A new piece changes all the old moves. Meanwhile, at Tesla headquarters, engineers are treating 2026 as if it were year zero. The promises are significant. 1,200 km to range, recharging in minutes, tank-like safety. But what really matters is timing. BED has already announced that it will only launch its models with this technology between 2027 and 2030. And each year's difference in this market is worth billions. The average consumer may not understand the technical numbers, but they understand when a car runs longer and costs less. Musk seems to know this. That's why he spared no expense in factories, chips, or betting. The race is against time and against expectations. Because it's not enough to announce, you have to deliver. And deliver en masse. And that's where many automakers fail. Promising something revolutionary is easy. The hard part is getting it into the garage of someone earning $3,000 a month. And Tesla, by all accounts, wants to be the first to achieve this. Not in 2030, but as early as 2026. There's something interesting about this move. Tesla isn't just trying to beat BYD. It's also trying to prevent China from completely dominating the world's electric future. BYD already dominates Asia and is growing strongly in Europe. If Tesla doesn't take this step soon, it could become hostage to China's advance. And Musk hates being dependent on any country other than the United States. It's a geopolitical move disguised as automotive innovation. Now, the most intriguing part. Is this all just a race for profit and leadership? Or does Musk truly believe that the popularization of solid-state vehicles is the definitive path to the end of combustion cars? Because, let's face it, launching a car with twice the range, safer, and even cheaper, that's not just a competitive advantage. It's an existential threat to older models, including Tesla's own. And this is where the game becomes even more strategic. If Tesla can do this before BYD, it can pressure governments to accelerate subsidies, change safety regulations, and, most importantly, influence the average consumer who is still undecided. After all, if in 2026 it will be possible to buy an electric car with 1,200 kilometers of range for less than $25,000, who will still risk a hybrid or a gasoline car? Tesla's promise isn't just in the calendar, but in the numbers. When Elon Musk says that the new solid-state batteries can reach between 400 and 500 Dodwe ranks, he's saying, in other words, that the car's range will practically double without increasing battery size. This changes everything. A Model 2, which was born with the idea of being compact and affordable, will be able to travel up to 1-200 kilometers on a single charge. That's the equivalent of going from Sao Paulo to Brasilia without stopping to recharge. And that, let's face it, is jaw-dropping. But it's not just the range that's impressive. Recharging time also reaches a new level. Charging 80% of the battery in just 10 to 15 minutes seems like science fiction compared to the 30, 40, or even 60 minutes many EVs still experience today. At this speed, 
drivers practically forget they're in an electric car. The feeling will be closer to filling up at a gas station than ever before, but without the fuel smell, emissions, and engine noise. And the most interesting thing is that none of this comes with increased weight or the need for additional space. The secret lies in energy density. With more energy stored per kilogram, Tesla manages to maintain a lean, light, and efficient car design. No more giant batteries taking up the entire floor. The idea is to optimize space without sacrificing performance. And for a city car like the Model 2, this makes a huge difference. Furthermore, this technology also represents a breakthrough in durability. Solid-state batteries tend to have a longer lifespan than traditional lithium-ion batteries. This means they not only run longer on a single charge, but also last longer over the years. This reduces maintenance costs and increases resale value. And that's where the magic comes in for the average consumer. More performance, less hassle, for a lower price. Another point worth highlighting is the modularity of the technology. Tesla is working with cells that can be applied to both more compact models and larger SUVs. This means that the Model 2's advances will inevitably be extended to other vehicles. A Model Y, for example, could achieve over 1,400 kilometers of range with this type of battery, becoming the absolute king of electric crossovers. And for those who think this is all just marketing talk, remember, internal prototypes are already being tested. Tesla isn't talking about abstract ideas, but about technology that's already being validated. The numbers aren't just projections on paper. They come from real labs with rigorous testing and aggressive targets. And Elon Musk, as always, doesn't just want to break records. He wants to transform the market. When it comes to safety, Tesla isn't just raising the bar, it's changing it. The solid-state batteries, expected to debut as early as 2026, have a game-changing feature. They're incombustible. This means that even in severe collisions, even with punctures, even when exposed to extreme heat, they simply won't catch fire. It seems like a technical detail, but in practice, it's a quiet revolution. Because until now, one of consumers' biggest fears about electric cars was precisely this, the risk of fire in serious accidents. The heart of this new battery is a solid electrolyte, unlike the flammable liquid electrolytes found in most current batteries. This solid material, besides not propagating flames, has much superior thermal stability. In laboratory tests, Tesla engineers even punctured the cells with heated nails simulating severe damage, and the results were impressive. No explosions, no fires, just a slight drop in performance as if nothing had happened. And that's not all. Solid-state batteries are also more resistant to water and extreme humidity. This means that the system continues to operate safely in floods, heavy rains, or even tropical climates. Because there's no reactive liquid, there's no risk of leakage, corrosion, or unwanted chemical reactions. For markets like Brazil, Europe, or even regions of the US where storms are common, this becomes a valuable advantage. Another interesting factor is how these batteries behave under pressure variations, such as high altitudes or air transport. Tests show that the cells remain stable even under air compression or expansion. This paves the way for applications beyond cars, such as long-range drones, autonomous trucks on mountainous routes, and even vehicles operating in extreme conditions, such as flood rescue. For engineers, this is all fascinating. But for the average consumer, what really matters is knowing that their car is safer than ever. And more than that, that they can put their family inside a Model 2, knowing that, in the event of an accident, the battery won't turn into a powder keg. Silent, but powerful safety. And once the public begins to understand what this represents, it will be difficult to accept conventional batteries again. This type of innovation can also influence legislation and insurance. Cars with less flammable batteries tend to have better crash test scores, which can translate into insurance discounts and government incentives. It's the kind of advancement 
that drives the entire industry forward, like an invisible engine that accelerates policy, investment, and competition. And Tesla, once again, is positioning itself to be that driving force. The safety is impressive, but none of this would have any real impact if Tesla didn't have the ability to quickly and massively deploy these batteries globally. And that's precisely where the company shows its boldest cards. While other automakers are still testing prototypes in labs, Tesla already has production lines ready, literally running, that can be adapted for the new solid-state chemistry. The Texas and Berlin factories have already surpassed the 20,000,000,000 cell production mark, and that's no small feat. These lines were designed from the outset, with modularity in mind. In other words, the same machinery that currently manufactures traditional cells can be adjusted to produce solid-state batteries without having to rebuild everything from scratch. This saves time, money, and headaches. While BYD is still preparing its facilities to begin scaling after 2027, Tesla is already quietly testing the transition. And those who understand the industry know that this flexibility is worth its weight in gold. Another strategic asset is the Gigafactory in Mexico, whose location is no coincidence. Close to the United States, with easy access to Europe and much lower operating costs than California or Germany, this factory has everything it needs to be the beating heart of the new generation of affordable EVs. Elon Musk wants the solid-state revolution to reach mass markets first, not luxury models. And this factory is key to that. The plan is clear. Use Mexico as a production and export base for North America and Europe, while maintaining competitive prices. Meanwhile, BYD, despite advancing in technology, still focuses its launches on China and on mid-size and premium models. And at this point, the difference in strategy could cost them dearly. Whoever gets to popular cars with cutting-edge batteries first wins the planet. And the detail that almost no one realizes is that Tesla is also aggressively unifying its supply chain. From raw material extraction to the software that manages production, Everything is being optimized with artificial intelligence and automation. This reduces errors, speeds up production cycles, and keeps costs under control. It's an approach more reminiscent of a Silicon Valley chip company than a traditional automaker. Meanwhile, other brands still struggle with logistical bottlenecks, limited contracts, and factories that can't keep up with project developments. And that's why, even with fewer models in its portfolio, Tesla manages to deliver more and faster. The secret isn't in the number of cars, but in manufacturing efficiency. And now, with solid-state technology entering the game, this advantage is even more evident. The promise of an electric car for just $25,000 seemed like a distant dream until recently. But with the arrival of solid-state batteries, Tesla is about to turn that dream into a mainstream product. The Model 2, the brand's famous popular car, will be the linchpin of this revolution. And the most impressive thing is that it won't just be cheap. It will be technologically superior to any car in the same price range, electric or not. Elon Musk wants to break the industry's logic, deliver more for less, and thus crush all competitors. Reaching this price requires more than cost cutting. It requires innovation at every level from raw material extraction to the software that manages production. The battery is the most expensive component of an electric car, and if it reaches the $100 per kilowatt mark, everything changes. This is the magic line at which EVs become cheaper than combustion cars, even without tax incentives. And that's exactly what Tesla is aiming for with the solid-state Model 2. Now, imagine paying $25,000 for a car with a range of over 700 miles per charge that recharges in minutes and even has the new integrated autonomous driving system. This isn't just a car. It's a declaration of war against all competitors, including gasoline-powered ones. And most interestingly, Tesla doesn't want this to be a luxury item. It wants it to be affordable for any American or European worker. 
the Model 2 also carries another symbolic weight. It represents Tesla's entry into the mass market segment, where competition is fierce and every penny matters. If it can deliver on its promises, the company will have in its hands the first global electric car with the potential to dominate the popular market, something BYD has yet to achieve outside of China. And this geographic difference matters because while BYD shines in the East, Tesla is advancing with full force in the West. And if you think the car is the same for all markets, know that Tesla is planning customized versions. The Model 2 could have variations in finish, software, and even small mechanical adjustments to meet the specific demands of each region. And all of this will be mass-produced, with robots and artificial intelligence fine-tuning every detail, ensuring quality and standardization that few factories can achieve today. What makes the project even more powerful is the way Tesla plans to sell it. No dealerships, no middlemen, with transparent pricing directly in the app. And if the plan works, Model 2 delivery could be in weeks, not months. This completely changes the buying experience and builds loyalty among customers already tired of bureaucracy and surprises with the final price. While Tesla accelerates toward the global Model 2, other giants aren't standing idly by. BYD, for example, has been building its own strategy to dominate the future of batteries, but at a different pace. Instead of targeting a launch as early as 2026 like Tesla, the Chinese company plans a gradual adoption of solid-state technology between 2027 and 2032, starting with luxury models and only then reaching more affordable ones. The logic is clear. Test at the top before scaling to the rest. But will there be enough time? BYD's focus is on batteries with sulfide electrolytes, a promising type but more complex to manage in terms of chemical stability and mass production. The brand has already begun testing 20 and 60 ampere cells, but according to its own scientists, there is still a technical and economic path to be followed. Meanwhile, Tesla is advancing with more stable batteries, easier to scale, and with the advantage of already having a production and distribution network in place. What's striking is the sincerity with which BYD has been approaching the issue. Its engineers admit that solid-state batteries won't replace lithium-ion batteries overnight. On the contrary, they project that LFPs, lithium iron phosphate, will continue to dominate the mainstream car market for another 15 to 20 years. This more conservative view demonstrates the company's preference for caution, a move that can protect against risks but also delay its rise to the top of the global supply chain. Meanwhile, South Korea's SK On is racing ahead with ambition. It has already opened its pilot plant dedicated exclusively to solid-state batteries, aiming to begin commercial production in 2029, a year ahead of schedule. SK On's unique selling point is its WIP, Warm Isostatic Pressing, technology which applies pressure and heat simultaneously to improve battery density, performance, and durability. It's an ingenious process that could serve as a shortcut in the race to scale this new generation of cells. SK On's advantage lies in its technical expertise and process refinement. But the challenge, as always, is mass production at low costs. The company has already applied for international patents and is beginning to test its prototypes under rigorous durability and safety standards. It still lags behind Tesla in terms of production and market presence, but technically, it has the potential to surprise. Other automakers are also making moves. Toyota and Nissan have invested billions in solid-state battery development and already have ambitious timelines for the end of the decade.